Hello everybody, long time no see. Welcome again for another live stream from Tokyo. This time we'll be taste testing a very unusual drink. Yes. This. And I have a lot to talk to you about. Not just the water, but the live streams in general because it's been a while. Um, yeah, I think I haven't done a live stream in over a week, which is crazy because usually I'm doing these live streams all the time, all the time. There's a vending machine over here and uh, I wanna show you a little bit more about this water before I get really wet, actually. It's, it's, it's been raining in Tokyo for the last few days. The temperature has really cooled off. All those live streams just a few weeks ago where I was wearing shorts and t-shirts, that's over. It's now fall. It's pretty cold, pretty cool. There's a nice breeze going. I even have an umbrella, but it's just raining just enough where I, I don't need the umbrella, so not yet anyways. Ah, what a day. So this thing, I want to talk a little bit about uh, water. Bottled water has never really been popular in Japan until about a few years ago. Um, Santori is probably the biggest company making bottled water. They, they have two places that they make it. This is uh, according to my research because I did a TV show on Santori's bottled water last year. They have two places that they make it in Japan, two places that have the purest water in Japan. One of them is, is the Minami Alps, which is in, I think it's Yamanashi. And the other, other and that, that Santori make, gets their bottled water from uh, this area. This covers the north part of Japan, including Tokyo. And then there's Daisen, where I'm going at the end of this week. That's where they make their second bottled water plant. This is where the second water, because Daisen has the cleanest and purest water in all of Japan. It's a fact, I think. But this one comes from Santori, you can see right here on the label. Why do they flavor the water? It's because Japan is a trendy place. Things that, these, these flavors, I, I did a, a live stream on, on Pepsi's Halloween flavored um, drink, uh, cola, a couple, of, uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's something that they do just to get attention. And I think, I think that's what this is. Because Santori's water, if you, if you look at, at the uh, Santori vending machine, is right here. This is the regular water that they have. This is from Minami Alps, it says here. It's really, really good. I love the Suntory uh, bottled water. But then they, they, they have something like this, the morning tea flavor. And it, it's not tea, it's water. Why do they do that? It's because it's a trend. It's a trend. And I'm going to now taste this thing. It's actually, I bought this a couple of weeks ago, so I've been waiting to do this. The problem is that YouTube YouTube has had some trouble with the live streaming. I'm, I'm now opening it up while holding the, the Osmo. We've had some problems with you stream, YouTube, um, streaming on YouTube for a couple of problems. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much for the super chat. This one's for you, buddy. Yeah. So there have been a couple of problems, but YouTube has been on this. I'm really, really, um, really happy with the way YouTube has has um, handled this, this, all these problems that we've been having with the live streams. A month ago, the audio got crappy. The audio became really bad because they changed the codec and the quality just dipped so bad. It, it sounded like I'm talking through a pipe to you. I don't know if it's any better. There's been two, two or three updates since then, but they've been listening to my feedback. Uh, the engineers, the team that, that designs the app, what YouTube needs is a dedicated app just for live streaming, and then we won't have this problem. But they've made some interface changes to the app a couple of days ago, so I'm hoping the audio is a little bit better than before. And I'm not even guaranteed, I, I know I'm gonna drink this water because some of you might be waiting for this, but I'm not even guaranteed this, this live stream's gonna be there tomorrow. Because the live streams that I've been making, they're online, and then it, it for an, a, a day, and then for some reason YouTube says that it fails in the processing. This is the only copy I have to show you because this is a copy that I'm showing you right now. I don't have a backup. So unless YouTube can fix this problem, this might be the only time you see this video. It's kind of a shame. So, without further ado, five minutes into the video, I finally get to how this thing tastes. Again, this, this flavor of water won't be around 
Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Arnold, thank you very much. It smells like, it smells exactly like royal milk tea. And royal milk tea is my favorite. It's my favorite tea of all. Oh, they have it in hot now. It's sold out, but royal milk tea is my favorite tea in Japan. I always get this uh, on the train station platforms because it smells and tastes so good. That royal, that heavy cream I think they use in it. It's awesome. But, I mean, it's so, it's clear, right? You, I'm not the only one, I'm the only one here. But it's clear, you see this, right? It smells just like tea. With milk. How do they do this? Okay, here we go, here we go. They did it! They pulled this off. This is weird. It's like they're messing with my with my brain. This is it tastes. It's so creepy. It's creep. It, it's clear, right? It tastes just like milk tea. This has got to be all chemicals. I'm reading the label right now. This 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 can't be good for you. It says natural mineral water, uh, sugar. They put sugar in bottled water, okay. Sugar, uh, maruto origo, uh, and there's some sort of milk, essence of milk. There's tea, how could there be tea? It's clear. Um, um, minto extract, salt. All right, so yeah, it's a gag. It's a gimmick. They put all this this stuff in it. Usually it's just water. Look at, you see the, um, that's the ingredients on it right there in the middle, in the blue. There's a, that's more than water. It's not water. And I, you know what? If you put sugar and salt and, and essence and stuff, is it water anymore? Oh my gosh, it's weird. My, my mind is, it's like mind warping. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had anything so bizarre. But it doesn't stop there. Suntory, which is right here, they also have other flavors. This one is um, the, what I just had. Huh. Except they've gone an, a step further. They've taken the milk tea right here, which is weird already. And they've put in uh, lemon, lemon tea water. But why? That's just what I don't, I don't get. Tea in Japanese vending machines, tea is the most popular drink. It's not cola. This is a Coca-Cola vending machine. All in the middle, it's tea, right? In fact, Coca-Cola only takes up one spot with the, the zero next to it. It's all tea and coffee and royal milk tea, the real stuff. So why does Suntory make this a milk tea version of their water it's because it gets attention and it's a trend and uh i bought it <laughs> i bought it i even made a video about it because it's so weird yeah so there you have it this this thing the suntory royal milk tea um premium morning tea suntory milk from, uh, it's Assam tea, for those uh, tea aficionados, it's Assam. And they made it clear, and I don't know how they do it, it's pretty, it's pretty freaky. And there you have it. Woo! Uh, what's next, you know? Science is pretty crazy for beverages in Japan. But that's the way Japan rolls, you know? You always have to have something uh, that makes a product attractive. And the thing is that, even if you started to like this water, this is what I love about Japan, and I hate. Even though, you know, you might start to like this water and, and want to drink it all the time, in a couple of weeks, it's gonna be gone. And you're left with nothing. You're just like, why? Why'd you get rid of it? I loved it. It's because Japan, the Santori wants to always innovate, yeah? These are all the beverage companies, they innovate. So whatever they have, even if it's a hit, it's gone and they might bring it back later, and that'll even double the, the uh, marketing, um, their exposure, right? But they, things don't last very long. Trends are here today, gone tomorrow, like cucumber Pepsi, salt, salty watermelon Pepsi. 
Pepsi's market share in Japan is like 6% of the cola and Japanese don't drink a lot of cola anyways. The only way for Pepsi to compete is to innovate and they do. Wow, okay, it seems like the rain stopped but it's gotten really chilly here in Tokyo. So, now that we've got that out of the way, whoosh, I didn't want to make a video that just complains uh, that complains about YouTube and what's what's been going on because um, two things, the videos have been disappearing on the Only Japan Go channel. This is the second channel. And by the way, tonight I'm releasing a new video on the main channel from Fukushima. You're gonna love it. Uh, Peter is the narrator of it. I totally wanted to do something different. I didn't want to make a usual, uh, hey, I'm on. A, I'm a tourist going to Fukushima. Now, the heck with that. I wanted to make something really special for you, so the main channel is gonna be released in about, uh, six or seven hours now at 10 p.m. Japan time. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Peter, Catherine's getting there. Peter's, Peter's gonna be narrating it and he does an awesome job. It just makes the video uh, come alive even more. But the Go channel, um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more live streams. It's just I'm waiting for YouTube to, to fix some of these problems and they've been really good at it. I was pretty critical with YouTube um, a couple of weeks ago and all this month because YouTube told me uh, about a year ago, my I, I have a content partner, a, a partner advisor, manager, part, content partner manager. Thanks, Jim. Um, and he told me that if you ever want to get something done, you have to complain. This is, I guess, it's the American way to do stuff because in Japan you would never complain. They would fix it because they would be embarrassed by the problem and they would fix it before anybody complained because the complaint by the time you get to the complaining point that's like you're losing your reputation so in Japan they would be fixed without complaining but if you ever want to get something done within YouTube you have to complain about it this is what they told me about it he said if, if you stay silent no one's gonna know about the problem so how could they not know about the problem because this is their product you think you wouldn't put out a product unless it was tested and guaranteed to work but the the technology is, is changing so fast they'll change something that has nothing to do with live streaming and it'll affect the live streaming which is why they need a dedicated live streaming app. Um, but the point of this rant is that YouTube has been listening to what I've been saying, what we've been saying. Uh, YouTube guilty hashtag for everybody who follows on Instagram. I had a, a pretty big rant a couple of, uh, about a week ago. But YouTube has been really good. I, I, YouTube, what is YouTube? One word. It's a platform, okay? It's just a platform. Around the platform are some really amazing people that work at YouTube. And they might tinker with something in one direction that affects me, but unless I'm really loud, it's not going to come back my way. And I love live streaming and doing this, and that's what I wanna do, so I have to complain. And uh, they're listening. I've been getting emails almost daily from the uh, team in the United States that are checking up on the account to try to bring back two live streams that went offline. One of them was me and Peter uh, roaming the old people area, um, the uh, oh, Grandma Harajuku. That's still on the servers. So they're trying to save that video, as well as one I did at the festival, uh, local festival, uh, a couple of days later. They might be back. So YouTube is working really hard. There's a, a content uh, manager named Frank over there who's, who's working really hard to working with the engineers to try to find a fix for this. And um, hopefully, if they can do that, then I feel more comfortable live streaming. Imagine you making a video and then it's just gone. I, what, what's the point of making the video if, if people can't enjoy it? Especially one that's an hour long because you'll watch the video and this is what I get a lot of feedback. People would watch half of the video and then want to watch it later, but it was gone. And for me, this is the, was the most upsetting thing is that people couldn't finish watching the video because YouTube had dropped the ball on this. And this is, and all those people, all those smart people working at YouTube can't keep their plat, can't fix the platform quick enough. They can't keep the platform running perfectly. That to me is stunning. But they're working on it and uh, they're doing the best that they can, just like, you know, the best that I do with all the stuff that's going on in my life uh, with, with the channel. So, wow. So there you go. The Only Japan Go channel. This is the first live stream in a while. Feels good to be back, you know. There's another vending machine.
This one's another Suntory machine. Well, Mountain Dew, this is not something I see a lot of. And just regular tea. And here's regular milk tea, but Suntory doesn't have any of the gimmick waters in this one. Pretty crazy. I'm getting reports from Dave Angels that the audio is good. This might be from the, um, the update that happened a couple of days ago. That means the engineers were listening. If the, video, if the audio is fixed, I'm gonna be uh, um, doing a video like every day. Cause I'm just waiting. I'm, you know, like you're at the starting line and you're sitting there and you're like waiting. Like, come on, just, just fire the gun. Let me know that it's okay to go. I've been holding off on so many amazing topics um, that it, it's, it's been driving me crazy. So if the audio is, is the audio wonderful? Mochi, oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's see. I'm getting some comments about a super chat here. Perfume 444, you rock. You rock! <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, the $50. It's, I, the channel has been has taken a huge hit because I haven't been broadcasting much. So I really appreciate that. That means so much to me. Gosh, wow. Thank you so much for that. Look at these little Cokes. Wow. I mean, in America, no one would pay. You can, it doesn't make any sense. You can get this 100 milliliter Coke for like $1.20, or you can get a, a half a liter for $1.50 for 30 and more. It doesn't make any sense. Does it? It doesn't make any sense. But th this is the reason why it makes sense in Japan. There's the, the term called multi nai. Uh, do you, does anybody know this term, multi nai? And multi nai means don't. It means what a waste if you say it on its own, multi nai. Or if you if you say it in in this sense, it means don't waste. Don't take something that you're not going to eat or drink. Don't be wasteful. Right. So if someone is not that thirsty or they just want Coke for the taste or a little bit of the bubbles, you're not going to buy a big one because it's it's better value to do that because you're gonna waste most of it. You'll buy a small one and just drink what you need and it'll stay cool. Nobody wants like a warm Coke, right? So that makes sense. And they'll give you a little bit of a discount, right? 30 yen, but it's a third of the same, it's a third of the content. And I bet you more people buy the smaller ones because there's two of them. And they can put double the amount because the bottles are smaller than the bigger one. The big bottles of Coke don't sell too well in Japan. It's the smaller ones, the cans. You'll see cans like this big. Because people just want a little bit of the sweetness. They don't want to overdo it. Mm. I'm so stoked. If, if the live streaming's back, this changes everything. Oh my gosh. So, 7-Eleven. Uh, I wonder if I can go in there. I'm kind of hungry. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. I hate going in there with a the camera. It's like, I feel like I'm back in my hitchhiking days if I go into the 7-Eleven. I spent so much time at the 7-Eleven. I know, right? There's a couple of people saying that they missed the 7-Eleven. I know, it's awesome. Um, I, there's a comment about demonetization and you know, I, I don't want to beat up on YouTube a lot because uh, thank you, um, Parini. Thank you so much for the super chat. I don't want to, I don't want to beat up on YouTube because they, it's just a platform and the people are always in trying to improve the platform. I, you know, they, they're demonetizing some videos and I've had, um, on the main channel, I had three videos demonetized. One of them was the Naked Man Festival. And you can understand that because my, you know, my butt's hanging out and who the heck would want to sponsor a Naked Man Festival video? But, um, as soon as I saw that, I pushed it to be automatically reviewed, manually reviewed, and within 24 hours, they monetized the video again. And I don't know if I lose the money or not, but I don't make the videos just for the money. I'm not happy. No one's gonna be happy about that, right? All right, imagine, I'm gonna sit down on this wet thing here and just, we're gonna have a little powwow on the street. Oh, that water went right through my pants. That was not a good idea. <laughs> I'm sitting on this thing here. All right. I'll have a little powwow with you. All right. I don't make these videos just for the money. If I did, they would suck, all right? They would stink. I don't make the videos just for the, I do it because I like to tell a story. It's, a, that's the simp it's as simple as that. And if I didn't have YouTube, I'd be really, really sad. I'd be really, really 
I wouldn't have a place. YouTube gives me enough money to make a living. It gives me enough money to be uh, at this level. I, I can do this almost full time. And this this didn't exist for me. Uh, Christian, thank you very much. The super, I'm always so thankful the super chats. I don't know. So I don't know how to respond sometimes when I see when I saw perfume give so much money. It really made me feel um, like I don't know how to to thank somebody. I can't jump. I can't jump through this camera into your living room and give you a hug. <laughs> That's how I, I feel when I see so much support from everybody. And this is this is how I, my response to YouTube about this demonetization and everything. YouTube is just a platform. And I was making videos before YouTube existed. I was on something called iTunes, okay? iTunes has zero monetization, zero. There's no way to monetize a video unless you find the sponsor yourself. I spent a lot of money on bandwidth, giving my show away on iTunes. And in fact, you can still see some of my shows on iTunes. Uh, it's on a server now that I, it took me years to find a sponsor. I lost about $30,000 on iTunes giving away my show to pay for the bandwidth and I couldn't find a sponsor and YouTube does that for me and I understand completely <clears throat> that they want to protect their sponsors and make sure that the content is good. I don't swear, I don't do anything bad, I'm not negative in my shows, I want to give you a happy ending, I want to make you feel good and that's the stories that I always do. I don't use foul language because I don't think you need to. And if you're doing these types of things with your YouTube videos you're to just to get views, I can understand why you're going to be de de uh, demonetized. It's not about the views. And it's not even about the money. The, just the fact that you can monetize on YouTube is, is just huge. The fact that we can do, thank you Mick, so thank you, featured weird, more weird drinks, I will. The Go channel allows me to do that. But the fact that I can, I can focus on this content and make money is huge. And I don't mind that they, on the Go channel, they demonetize every other video. I ask for an, a manual uh, check and they put the money back, they uh, make it monetized again. And that's just the way that the platform is. And in, in two, three weeks, <laughs> they've got some kids. <laughs> and it, in about in about two three weeks, the whole system for YouTube might change again. So I understand the curators complaining because that's how you get change. But I can. Are they jumping into the water? <laughs> the mother's yelling at them. Oh, uh, it's like one of these old, live moments, right? So I can understand YouTube demonetizing, and I can understand YouTubers complaining about it. But you have to understand that I would never complain about that <clears throat> to the point to such a degree because. To me, I'm just thrilled to have this platform. I'm thrilled to have this live streaming. And that's a company with my internet. Jcom, if you're listening, you better speed up my internet connection because it stinks, right? I'm looking at you, buddy. You see how fast he was going? Yeah, he knows. Gosh, the upload speed is awful. Okay, I, I won't complain about YouTube, but when it comes to internet service providers, oh. Jcom's like the um, Verizon of Japan. Oh my gosh. They're not that bad. They're not like Verizon, but it's, it's, it's just funny that I, I see their car going by and I'm trying to get them on the phone to, to improve my upload speeds because it takes me um, to, uh, forever to upload a video. <clears throat> so tonight, I just wanted to thank you. I wanted to give you an update on this. I'm going to be going to, to Hakuba on the 18th, so I'll be live streaming in Nagano. And on the 20th, I'm going to Totori, the other side of Japan. More live streaming from another area of Japan. Make sure you're subscribing to this and get the notification because it's going to get really interesting. And if the quality of the audio is good, my gosh, this is going to be an amazing um, October, November for everybody because I'm going to be on the road like a madman. We're going to have some really fantastic episodes tonight on the main channel. Peter is narrating the Fukushima spy story. It is a spy adventure about uh, tourism, like traveling. I, I wanted to do something extremely creative that nobody's ever done before. And believe, believe you me, as my mother says, that doesn't make any, believe you me, it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch it because it has Fukushima in the title, but uh, I, I made it because I, I wanted to just have some fun with it. And that's what we do here on the show. I bring you with me and we have some fun. Thank you so much for the super chats. I don't, I wanna jump through the screen and, and meet all of you for the amazing generosity. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'll be back on with live streams again 
this week. I'm gonna check the quality of the audio and we're gonna be back on. This is gonna be awesome. So thank you everybody for, I gotta get back home. I, I forgot that I have another uh, appointment to do. Having so, fun, so much fun with this. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this live stream. I'm gonna end the last 20 seconds walking through my neighborhood, which has gotten eerily quiet. See ya. No more rain.